Howdy, I'm John. I hate dust in my computer. It's the number one cause of computer overheating, especially when it gets in your cooling fins. So I put together this here HEPA filter using five 20 by 20 inch filters. Real super high grade. I use these 3Ms. They're on a scale of 1 to 16, how they grade these. These are in number 13. Is use a regular old 20 inch fan, box fan, get the square ones that you can get for about $20 coincidentally at major home depot type stores. So we're gonna run through real quick how we set this up. It's just a matter of getting the fan ready and then unboxing these filters. Now, these filters are graded from one to 16 and 16 getting the most small amounts of particles. But in general, the tighter the weave, the less airflow. So you get around that by making pleats in there so that you have two or three times as much material that can handle more air but still have the high filtration. So I went ahead and put a little glue in between these. You don't have to do that necessarily. Gotta make sure that your fan arrow is pointing in toward the center of the box. I put these in this kind of offset staggered pattern so that overall they're a little over 20 inches across. Now you see with all this extra space, it gives us a lot more airflow, less resistance. The fan can operate more efficiently and be able to pull a lot of air through without having reduced airflow except for we do have a bottom filter and we want that filter raised up off the workbench or desk or whatever. So we use these little bumpers that you get at a hardware store for a toilet lid. We have a number four that we use to suck air in from outside. You can see how dusty it is. That shows how much dust it would have brought into the house, but it can't be as finely woven as this number 13 or it would just baffle that fan out too much too much resistance this filter also has an electrostatic type of thing that they put on it and that's supposed to be carried through those wires giving a little extra pull to the dust and that tight weave those tight pleats that packs a lot more material in so that there's still good airflow. But when we put five of those together, there's hardly any resistance on that fan at all. It can operate just about as efficiently as if it didn't have any filters behind it in any way at all. So look at that nice big open area. I wanna experiment around with four inches, but with these, with those tight pleats on this number 13, you also have a tendency for it to last a little longer before it begins, gets really oversaturated with lots of dust and particles. But this number 13 will filter out pollen and very, very small bits of dust and smoke. If you got somebody in the house that's smoking cannabis or or a pipe or something like that, you want something like this to blow the air on. And we can see it raised up off the bench there. You don't want gummy oils and things like that in your computers. So I built this to blow sideways right onto the computers so that virtually all the air they pick up is already super filtered air. And then it blows through the rest of the house. It's not like the house is deprived and only the computers get it but the computers really need it first before anybody or anything else because we can cough and clear our lungs of dust, but the computers, when they get all that grease and smoke in it, it gums up. Well, thank you much. Like and subscribe. We'll see you around.